Mr. Shiki Katomatsu. We're going to get started with a song that's all about a little summertime romance. So sit back, crank up the volume, and get in your favorite cruise position. Imagine some warm waves and a light tropical breeze with the music of Toshiki Katomatsu. Hey, oh, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Tyler, Valve News Network. How are you guys doing today? Got a little stray hair there. Nice. Today, oh, Portal 55, 14 months. Oh, my goodness. Remember, if you have Amazon Prime, Twitch Prime is free. Maybe toss it my way. That would really help me out. Hi, everybody. It's your boy. Been working on a couple videos. Got a video out this morning. Got two videos out this morning. Donation goal isn't showing, you know? That's why I love you guys. That's it's really nice of you for telling me. Yeah, we do have a donation goal for today. We'll talk about everything I know about a possible next Valve title, but it kind of spans across a couple titles. Anyways, how are you guys doing today? Um, we're going to be a little busy uh, today. I got two videos out today, and I experimented with uh, a new format. You know how sometimes I'll go off on these little tangents about just random things that I know, and they end up taking 20 minutes of me just kind of preaching to all of you about news and speculation that I may know? Well, I had the idea on a walk with Electra yesterday of just uploading those to Valve News Extra as their own content. And uh, yeah, so that VNN talk, that uh, Team Fortress 2 talk I did yesterday is up on Valve News Extra as its own content, as its own video. And I was like, cause people upload my stuff all the time from live streams. Like my reactions to Half-Life Alex have like 500,000 views. Why didn't I do that? Cause I'm an idiot. So, um, uh, I, I have a couple people going through my streams and just finding interesting talking points and the way that this is going to be working is my normal videos are monday wednesday friday and then these are going to be staggered tuesday thursday saturday and they're very easy for me to do because i just like chop up the bit render them in 720p and throw them up on vnx and that's it so you know it's free views i'm a fucking idiot um anyways i hope you all are doing well we are going to be playing um i think about eight uh half-life alex workshop maps today i have footage of all of the maps that i wanted to cover already recorded right now um i'll show you right here we have all of the maps that i've already wanted to talk about written down here we have seven maps uh and a couple mods and then over here uh if we go into my little work work folder here right here i have footage of all of them labeled based on which map i'm playing and we are going to be um playing through what are we playing through today we're gonna to be playing through a few a few other maps that i some of them i haven't played some of them i have played we need footage for example field studies is probably going to get a shout out i haven't played through the whole thing I'm gonna be playing prospect attrition labyrinth savage sewers backyard resting Hazard Course Invasion, uh, Kavarti, Karvar, 
Kvartira, 17, uh, Combine Intervention, Light Shift, and Field Studies. Uh, we're going to be playing through those today. Um, and we're going to, you know, see how... Valve News Pickle. Valve News Pickle. Yeah, so we're going to try and get through those today. Uh, get foot We're going to use the footage from today's live stream on... Well, actually, I could just... We'll see. We might just record it. We'll see what ends up happening. Anyways, uh, we do have a donation goal. Exclamation point. Donate in the chat. Uh, if you want to be able to support Valve News Network. I could really use it right now. Uh, coronavirus and all that bullshit has halved ad revenue. Uh, taxes are fucking insane. And... Um, I may now be responsible financially for a uh, 16 year old's car and car insurance and stuff. So, life. Anyways, uh, I want to, for the first 15 minutes of this stream, um, do a bit of a QA, talk to all y'all about random questions that you may have about Valve, about Nintendo, about Bethesda, about video games, about life. Uh, exclamation point trade in the chat if you want to be able to send over a uh, trade offer really helps me out if you can do that super appreciate it and exclamation point uh, wish in the chat if you want to be able to uh, buy a game on my wish list and I think exclamation point t-shirt in the chat will link you to my relaunched crowd made store uh, for merchandise as you can see we have a whole new line of merchandise up on the store now um, and of course this uh, this error mask is is really selling like hotcakes so uh yeah i hope y'all are doing well let's take some questions for a little bit and then we're gonna be going live going crazy with um half life alex anyways uh are you earnestly asking for feedback when you asked on twitter about the worst thing about vnn is yes and if you took a look at what i did i retweet commented responses to the most important questions in my opinion i tried to respond to all of them um and i tried to respond to as much as i could uh, i i learned a lot and i'm really appreciative of everybody that you know through the years has been super supportive you may have issues with me but they're willing to voice them to me uh and yeah every month from now until the foreseeable future i'm going to be requesting feedback based on that last month's uh, performance so we're gonna be going from there not valve related but have you played the new paper Mario I have not I don't really have time worst part is Tyler McVicker's British accent all right I won't do it anymore uh, why did you end the TF2 speculation why did you end TF2 you speculating hack I just had to had to do it to him uh, when w when will we find out what Electra's working on uh, years years probably uh, will you be doing the one I linked yesterday? It's fairly short. Uh, it could be a short intermission thing. Not today. We will in another time. We have a very specific goal for today. Uh, so that one I've already played in private and I will not be playing it today, but we will be playing it. I promise. Alien Swarm question mark? What about it? It's because it's the 10th anniversary of it? Because, yeah, I know. But no, I don't really have anything planned for that. Will you play some experimental HLA maps? Uh, there are so many from the early days. Not really planning on it today. Maybe one day. Um, news about Todd, the Elder Scrolls, when? I don't really have any. Mouse pad soon. So I talked to uh, my crowd made Please. guy about that. Today's video is sponsored no, it's by not. Shadow no, it's Legends, not. No, it's not. <laughs> don't say that. Um, uh, I talked to my crowd made guy. Yeah, we can make the mouse pads exactly like that. The problem is I have to order a hundred of them up front and that costs about like a lot of fucking money. So not right now. I'm trying to save money because I'm... Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be doing all that here pretty soon. Uh, I ran away from my ex and forgot my Aperture coffee mug. Uh, rip. I will buy a mouse pad. Okay, well, well, 100 people buy a mouse pad and I make my money back. Does leaking Nintendo news scare you more than Valve? Yes. Uh, do you think Half-Life Alex's voice actor fiasco will affect Merle's coming back to a hypothetical future Half-Life game? Yes. Uh, Nintendo sues leakers pretty often. Yes. Um, it's not exclamation point merch. It's exclamation point t-shirt. Seems like donations aren't going to the progress bar. Well, I haven't had a donation yet. Um, unless you just donated, in which case it's probably being processed. Um, don't do it. It's not worth it. No, it's not. How slower or faster is the development workflow uh, at Valve because of homeworking? Um, 
I don't entirely know because obviously different people work better in these situations. Um, it's definitely affected it. Um, for better or for worse, we're not sure yet because no one's really being very communicative about exactly how that work from home flow is being, at least publicly. Um, however, I don't know. I mean, obviously they're still getting stuff done. They got that, you know, Agathum's labyrinth what? thing out. Paper Mario Origami King game runs on PC with an emulator at 60 FPS. <laughs> Also, you should play the new super hot game. It comes free if you have Oh, I already have it downloaded. I'll play it one day. I just don't have time right now. Um, in my very professional opinion, the new Paper Mario is actually pretty all right. Definitely nowhere near the first games, but better than Sticker Star and Color Splash. Workflow is quite slow at the moment. Tyler McVicker on the whole. I have some receipts to verify that later. Yeah, I figured. Uh, they got Agnatham's Labyrinth finished, which is commendable. Um, the It's slow going on the Half-Life Alex Workshop Tools side, as we talked about in today's video. And it's slow going, well, it's slow going on a lot of different things, you know. Um, future virtual reality titles are pretty much dead in their tracks right now. Um, but, you know, we're hoping that, that pretty soon that shit's gonna come back and... and Things will improve, no thanks to our administration that are trying to hide coronavirus testing and all that bullshit. And how much would the hypothetical VNN mousepad cost? I'm not sure yet. I'm not going to say it yet. Uh, it's up in the air. It depends on how much of a profit margin I want to make. And I usually get pretty razor thin profit margins on merchandise because I don't want to overcharge people. But then again, I do want to make money on it. Uh, but with something like a mouse pad, it's what's called an inventory item. So you have to order a whole bunch up front and that's my it's a bill I have to front. So I don't know. Uh, we're looking into doing dev textured socks right now, um, which isn't a merch, which isn't an inventory item, but it is an item where I have to specialty order the fabric. So it's uh, when you get into the like stuff that isn't just printing on a t-shirt, it, it gets expensive and it gets complicated. There's unlockable concept art and shit in the new Paper Mario, which makes it 10 times better. I had no idea. What's your opinion on the Nintendo Direct Mini from today? I I am not, I've never played a Shin Megami Tensei game. I'm excited for people that, that have and do. Um, and Cadence of Hyrule DLC, I'm looking forward to. Uh, I really enjoyed that game, but I mean, I'm not one of the people that are like super pissed that it didn't have, you know, Breath of the Wild 2 information or a new Metroid game information or Bayonetta 3 because they said it was mini, they said it was third party, and they said it was 10 minutes, but it's every, but like read the comments of that announcement and it's like, oh, we're going to get these 10 things. It's like, no, Nintendo out of any company that I'm aware of is not doing well with the work from home orders at all. So... A thousand days since the last big TF2 update. Thoughts? Go check out Valve News Extra. If there is any, if there are any mods in the chat, I would like you to link any TF2 questions to that video for right now. Uh, I should just make exclamation point TF2. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. Um, if you have a TF2 question, I will refer you to the video that I literally just published um, because I'm sick of uh, sick of answering these goddamn questions over and over and over again. But let me let me put a let me put a command in the the bot exclamation point tf2 response video everyone all right try exclamation point tf2 and i'm going to change exclamation point t-shirt to exclamation point merch there oh do i already have exclamation point merch oh that's right it's a default command forgot there you go there you go there you go. You have a TF2 question, exclamation point TF2 in the chat. Go watch that video and come back. Anyways. Um, will you play the new Tune Map Labs comp that ended a few hours ago? Yes. I, I need to be bar I need to marathon through all the Map Labs competition stuff. Yes. Uh, how's life? Hope you're doing great. Ma life is trying to get me down. Life is really trying to get me down lately. Um... You ever been quoted? Have you ever, mm, I, I probably really shouldn't be talking about the specifics of what went down today, but let's just say people that used to try and scam me because of their personal relationship to me tried to scam me again today, and it really fucking sucks. Um, so you look great. You don't look that great, TBH. Well, that's wrong. Um, not a good. 
Not a good song for what? this right now. Yo. What is your favorite Steam VR home? Ooh. Mario 64 Castle. Mario 64 Castle. Mario 64 Castle are like the TF2 lair. Super villain lair. Yeah. Or the candy shop. One of those three. Thank you for the 15. The teen all. Appreciate it. <laughs> Tyler, sell your faci facial hair? Nah. 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 Uh, no, y'all misunderstand me. Um, I wonder if you could do pre-orders or some sort of crowdfunding on... That's what we're talking about. No, yeah, we're talking about taking pre-orders where it's explicitly stated that if we don't hit a certain number of pre-orders, we won't make the product, and the money won't actually be charged until we confirm that we're making the product. But Crowdmade's website currently doesn't support what is essentially crowdfunded merchandise, um, but we're working on it. We're talking about it. Um, there are a lot of merchandise ideas that we have but they're expensive to to uh, create um you know should ball touch thong thong well this is an out of print shirt we sold this shirt for like six months and we sold maybe five of them so this one's not for sale anymore um this was the least popular shirt on my store by such a significant margin just no one bought it. <laughs> we sold a bunch of speculation shirts, but nobody gave a shit about this one. So, uh, I really want that mouse pad you treat, tweeted out. Good hammer memes. No, yeah, we're looking at those kinds of designs where it's like inside valve jokes that don't like cross IP lines, like dev textures and missing textures and missing models. And we want to do something with info players start, but. I'm not sure if that's against IP laws or not. Um, I emailed the Valve lawyer if like I could, and they said, uh, we're not in the business of okaying your merch. Just don't, you know, don't use our IP. And it's like, okay, does this cross a line though? I wanna know, you freaking, yeah. We're talking about making a plush. Uh, we're talking about making a plush error model. Uh, that is going to be thousands of dollars to produce, but we are talking about making an error model plushie. Um, but it's, um, you're like a year out from that. Even if we like, even if I had the money for it right now, which I don't, um, we would essentially, well, actually Electra had the idea of, I just have a, I have a donation goal for it throughout the streams, but we don't have prices set in stone. Uh, but yeah, an error model plushie is something we're looking at doing. And then we're also looking at doing phone cases that are just covered in a missing texture. Uh, and we're also, those pop socket things, it's going to be, we're going to just have a line of missing textured merch, which is going to be fun. Um, we're going to have a line of dev textured merch. We're going to have a line of speculation merch. We're just testing the waters with how far we can go with this kind of stuff. Crowdmate is very happy with the sales so far, and I haven't even been sent my samples yet to be able to, like, model. What's fun is I got permission to be able to have custom images on my Crowdmade store, which you have to request from Crowdmade. And Tyler, who's a photographer professionally, is going to photograph Mallory and Electra wearing my T-shirts, and that's going to be on the storefront. Um, and we're also going to be shooting like a little 30 second promotion thing of um, Mallory and Electra modeling my merchandise. And that'll play uh, at the beginning of, of one video a week. Um, so they're like, why don't you sell it? And I'm like, nah. Mm, I think it would sell better if Mallory and Electra wear them than me. <laughs> I'm a fucking blob. People don't want to see my body. They want to hear my voice. <laughs> I'll talk over it. Um, so, yeah. And also, I don't know if you've noticed, but if you look at my videos now, on mobile at least, uh, YouTube finally okayed me for the feature to have merchandise be shown underneath the videos, which is really fucking cool. Um, but like, look, if you look underneath the video, you have, there, there's the error shirt, speculation shirt, dev textured shirt, there's a Mr. CEO man shirt, valve sweater. Look, it's just underneath. That's really neat. And I'm glad that, that, they're, that I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's take a few more questions. We wanna see your facial expressions at least. I might put on the, the, the error mask. 
I see, I'm waiting. The error mask that I have is the old version, that limited time version, and then Crowdmade switched their manufacturer, and it's a different, like, shape of a mask, and it's also more comfortable and better. Um, so I'm waiting for that to come in, and I'm just gonna be wearing them on streams for a while, just because it's like, wear a mask. I know I'm in my basement, but wear a fucking mask, you fucking troglodyte. What the fuck is wrong with you? Um... So, yeah, I mean, exclamation point merch t-shirt in the chat if you want to be able to buy some merch. Um, yeah, you haven't talked about uh, what you feel about Half-Life Alex's story and maybe how it affects the series. You know. All right. Uh, you think it's time to play some VR? I think it's time to play some VR. I think it's time to play some VR. Uh, something that I want to point out that we are doing today is uh, showing off one of my favorite mods that is on the Steam Workshop um, called Hacking Puzzle Conversion. Now, this by itself is supposed to convert these puzzles to this puzzle, but it has a, a command that just removes puzzles altogether. So we're just going to remove puzzles. I'm sick of them. They're, they're, they're awful. They're the worst part of Half-Life Alex, by far. So we're just going to remove puzzles all together. Other than toner puzzles, the dragging wire completion puzzles, because those are the only good puzzles. So here we go. All right. So we're going to go in uh, Half-Life Alex, and we're going to enter this command. Oh, it didn't work. What? Oh, I have to be in a map to do that, don't I? If that's the case, fuck. Fuck. Toner puzzles are the worst? Nah, nah, you're wrong. They're the best. They're the best. Let's see, let's see, let's, let's, let's take a look at that real quick. Fabricator puzzle is pretty cool. Yeah, but after the, the hundred thousandth time that I've played it, I'm a little, a little over it. So how do we, okay, to remove all puzzles, you need to execute this command. So it's probably... Yeah, it's probably something that needs to be put into in the map, and that's put it as a launch command. See, but that probably won't work. We'll try. We'll try putting it as a launch command. See, maybe if maybe that'll work somehow. But I don't think that'll work. But we'll we'll just put it in anyways. Someone said bind it to a key. Yeah, I guess. But you'd need to bind it to a VR key, right? Yeah, I don't think it would work as a launch command. I'm gonna put it in anyways, but... All right, so let's play some VR. Let's play some VR. Um, launch in Steam VR mode, let's go! Hello? Ah! What the hell is going on? Why is the game at va Oh, because of that dev command. The dev command crashed it. Cool. All right. So don't put that as a startup command. It'll soft lock your game. All right. All right, I can see the chat. Let's play on low fidelity. Hello chat. All right, let's take a look at our add-ons. We have this enabled, and we're gonna start with Labyrinth. Start a new game. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Valve, fix your shit, please. This is such an annoying bug. 
Where the hell is the map that I'm trying to play? Okay. Dun, dun. Yeah, cool. Oh, good God. Look at this. How is this okay? How was this something that they looked at and went, yep, it's done. See, Labyrinth isn't even showing up now, so let's move on. Savage Sewers. What the hell? All right, this map's called Savage Sewers. That pisses me off so bad, man. All right, Savage Sewers, everybody. This one is somehow stuck in the ground. I wonder, can I still break it? Nope, that is, that, that is, that is, uh, that is, okay. All right, Savage Sewers. All right. I get it. It's a little dumb if it's trying to Come on. This map might be broken. Because it wants me to... Um, it wants me to, to gravity glove the, the gun. And... It's not letting me. Yeah, it's not letting me. Climb over the fence. That is a drop. That is a drop big enough to kill me, I think. Unless they want me to find the key card, which I have a feeling is in that combine. Huh. Okay. Stack props, get over the fence. All right. Let's try and get over the fence, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. I have a feeling that will kill me, but you never know until you try, so... Whoop! 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 That will not kill me, okay. No more mags. No more mags? Alright. Look at that, hat convert in work. We got some mags and we got a key card. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, this map's pretty all right so far, actually. Is it best material? I don't know. It's pretty good. Oh. That doesn't look right. I don't know what the hell's going on with the vault up there. I mean, I'm impressed that you put the vault up there, but I'm not impressed that the vault seems to be Z fighting itself. I just wasted a bullet. We got toilet paper. You know, this actually kind of reminds me more of Half-Life 2 than Half-Life Alex. Nice. Does it honk? Yeah, points deducted, no honk. Oh, dang, what's going on in here? You having fun? You having a party? Cucumbers, alcohol, and butter. Or cookies. Cucumbers, cookies, and, and, and alcohol. You guys sure know how to party.
I'm hearing a head crab. Where is he at? Oh, he's up there. Okay. I like this map so far. Oh, you're in here, aren't you? Hello. Sorry you were trapped in there, bud. Oh, dope. I hate it telling me, hey, you can put that in the wrist pocket. Yeah, I know. Do you see how many hours I have on this game already? Oop. Hey. All right. Yeah, this is a pretty decent map. It, 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 it's like Half-Life 2 and Half-Life Alex had a baby, kinda. You, you know what I mean? Do you see that? Do you see what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Boop. Boop. I don't know if I have enough ammo for that. Uh, I probably do. Three more. Oh, that guy, I don't know if that's a bloater or something in his arm. Nah, that's a bloater. All right, so that guy is a bloater. Let's try and go for that. Can you guys not walk through the doorway? I don't like Half-Life Alex's pathfinding AI because it's... I totally shot it. It's super nerfed because they're, they're... Okay, that's not a... They were worried over uh, comfort over, like, difficulty and playability. That's something that I probably will work on soon, or one day, I don't know about soon. Um, there's a... Oh, you're alive. I don't have... Oh, wait, do I? Yeah, I do. Last minute. There's a lot of unused versions of the uh, of the AI, which was just removed entirely, but they're still sitting there in the um, in the uh, entity lists or the entity settings. They're using door sounds. It's points deducted. Uh, and you could make a, a harder version of the game, Mr. Lol 3306, with the Twitch Prime. That's four months for you. Thank you very much. Remember, Twitch Prime is free if you have Amazon Prime. Give me my hand. Thank you. Do all these lockers have the door sound? Yep. It's a, it's a simple change. It's a simple fix. Just change your entity class. Nice. That Jaffa guy, new Twitch Prime sub. Yo, thank you very much. Super nice of you. Appreciate it. You dead? Yes, sir. Got some bread and some books. Got some of the resin. Someone offered to send me uh, uh, like a this exact resin model, 3D printed, with like LED lights inside of it, so it lights up. I asked for a price and then they never contacted me again. And now I can't afford it, so... I'm a sad Tyler day. And you see that the person that made me the Combine helmet is like making uh, Doom helmets now? Holy shit, I want that so bad. Like classic Doom guy helmet. From Doom 1 and 2. Here's, some, here's a very small nitpick I have with the game. We don't have a destructed watermelon, it just disappears. It's bullshit. We should have a destructed watermelon. Hey, that's me! Yeah, and you're also making a Quake Champions rocket launcher? Is there is there things you can't make? Like, oh my god, I want all of it, but I'm broke! Woo! That was weird gravity right there. One of these days when I have a bunch of money, I'm going to commission you to make, like, something crazy. 
There's something in here. Oh, there is. I like this map. I like this map. It's going to be on the list. And I'm getting footage for it already. So two birds, one stone. I could make you a resin. Yeah, I know, but I already had somebody offer me, and I don't want that person to, like, had been, like, like they're making it right now. And then somebody else makes it. <laughs> you can't handle stairs. I hate having to kill these guys. I wish there was a non-lethal method to kill these guys. They're just too fucking cute. Does anybody else agree with me? Head crabs in this game are the cutest they've ever fucking been. And I don't want to kill them. Like head crabs in Half-Life 1 are fucking annoying. They're so annoying. Head crabs in Half-Life 2 are a fun enemy because it's one whack with a crowbar and they go flying. Head crabs in Half-Life Alex, like, I don't want to kill you. I want to take you home. Oh, give me that back. Give me that back. Few shells left. <sighs> I'm like, like they're clumsy as hell. They're falling all over themselves all the time. I love it. Oh boy. All right, I'm just gonna cheese this. I don't know if this is like a map ending thing, but oh. How much do I have? Enough. Oh, dope. Okay, I like this map a lot. They did better than Valve on that. You see, I don't want to kill you guys! Anymore. Oh, I hate God. that I have to hear, oh, thank God, it was, it was on your face. It was on your face and it, oh. Hey, it was funny the first 50 times, Valve. Don't make me listen to that every goddamn time a head crab jumps on my face for the first time in a map. Stop treating this like it's a f uh, stop treating this like it's a brand new version of Half-Life Alex. I have played it. Stop every time I upgrade my weapons have to go. My guns looking really good. I'm from New Zealand. Like yeah, okay, you're it's my gun. You fuck, I've heard it. If I'm playing the campaign, you can do it. If I'm not playing the campaign, fucking stop it. What am I doing? Settings, disable tool tips and unscripted voice lines. Don't fucking tell me that's a thing. Is that a thing? Oh wait, turn that off. That's not a thing you got me excited. They should add it. Okay, you're right. Okay. What am I supposed to do here? Oh. Doi. Maybe put some lights around that, but maybe it's just because I'm an asshole. Oh, dope. I don't think that's enough for an autoloader. Autoloader's 30. I think it's enough for a... Laser sight's 35. Yeah, it's enough for a reflex sight. Uh, there's probably enough resin in these lockers for the autoloader and the shotgun, but I don't think they're gonna be giving me... Oh, speak of the devil, never mind. Yeah, that was my mistake. I like this map, it's in the video. Oh, that really worked, didn't it? Huh! huh. I don't need to hear that, Russell. You're not a part of this map. You're not a part of this map. Stop trying to be a part of everything. Fucking. I want to live in New Zealand. They got their shit under control. Dave Ashri gets to go to Panera.
I don't want you. Fuck you. All right. Yes, I saw the gnome. No, I'm not going to carry him. We will do a gnome run of Half-Life Alex, Like, by the end of the summer, I think. Wait, where are you at? Oh, is he casting a shadow from up there? Okay. Whoa. Okay, points deducted for this bullshit. I hate when maps do this. I absolutely hate when maps do this. Why Why are you doing this? I obviously can't carry all this. I hate this. I hate when maps over just absolutely kill their, their economy balance. So I'm only gonna take two of each and I'm gonna ignore the rest. All right, this is probably connected to that, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm trying to get up there. Oh, there's a ladder over here. I will do that. I'm making a video called Nitpicking the Hell Out of Half-Life Alex because there are a few major complaints I have about the game after having played it so much. Like, doors are not as good as they said they were going to be. Is it really trying to... It's trying... Oh, whatever. Whoop. What, and now it's a tower defense thing? Focusing. 
three left. Decent map. Decent map. Um, I don't think it's video material. I'll think about it. I'll think about it through the through the rest of the stream. All right. It's definitely better than most, and it would probably really mean a lot to the creator if I put it up. So I'll think about it. All right, let's try Labyrinth again. Oh, I guess it's not considered a map. Backyard Reston. I'm not doing like, this is the best one, these are honorable mentions, I'm just mentioning them. And I could probably, I have footage for it, it's literally just talking about it for 30 seconds and linking people to it. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put it in. All right. So. Four shells left. Two shells left. Man, everybody likes the five resin. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, points for nostalgia. Points for weird door. Points for soundscape. All right, where am I going? I have a sneaking suspicion that this is all it is. Oh, no it's not, no it's not. Okay, good. Whoa. I'm showing fatigue. How am I doing that? Oh, it, oh, fucking cool. It blew up in the back. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm Fred. There was a bunch of, of health in here and there. This is looking like a good map so far. The abundance of... It's a little bothersome, but... Two shots left.
How's the stream look, everybody? You guys having fun? You guys having fun? She's uh, working on a graphics card. Something in here? Nope, just trash. You guys have anything? Oh, you do. I'll take that. Is the horn honk? Extra points. You guys know how much I love a honking horn. I don't know if anybody was here for the day I found out that the horns could honk. Changed my life. And this one reminds me of Half-Life 2 as well. It seems like people aren't completely like understanding the 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 way Half-Life Alex levels work, and so the best stuff is pretty much just emulating Half-Life 2, you know? My god. Oh, oh, he tried to <laughs> I am very close to death. Lethal on body pack! Oh. I just checked my watch. You always gotta... You always gotta flip them off. Push hands off. Come on, put a secret. Put a secret. Put a secret. No? Okay. Station. Got a bottle bear. Now they don't give me existential dread anymore. Thanks, mods. Oh, did I miss a health kit somehow? That's no good. Push the body into the hole. <laughs> I pushed him into a hole. Oh, fully upgraded other than bullet reservoir. I'll take bullet reservoir. I swear to God, Russell, if you tell me how good the gun looks, I'm gonna send you a, a, an angry email. Hey. Hold on. Man, these sounds are spooky. Come on. 
A little bit closer. Come on. Thank you. Have the has the community not figured out how to get it to get the the barnacles to spit stuff out when they die? Because it's very rare for community maps. I don't know even know if I've ever seen a community map do that. Damn, this map is in. Like, oh my goodness, this map is in. Holy shit. They do spit stuff out. I have yet to see it. Three left. Ouch. Oh. I, Alex? Know, I couldn't afford that. Alex! <laughs> you have to add an AI attached item manager to the barticle. It's part of the spawn flags. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd really like a health kit, if, if that's, like, cool with you, you know. Three shells left. Like, is it cool with you guys if I get, like, like, maybe a health pen or something, you know, it'd be really neat. Card ain't wrist pocketed, points deducted. Oh, health pen, there you go. These break? No, points deducted. Ouch! Whoops. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Just let me, just let me. They said they saw necrotics. So let's hope whatever they're they're after ain't me. Ouch. Oh shit. the key card now oh fuck where's the key card i had it on the ground oh did it fall all right let's take care of these fucks you don't even bat an eye man Where the hell did I put it? Oh, there it is. Ah, fuck. Got it. Oh wait, that's for a white key card? What? This is a green key card. Fuck. Where the hell is this for? Do I go back up? I can't get back up, I don't think. Is 
Is this bugs? Is this bugged? Tyler, the mod is conflicting with the key cards. What mod? The thing that changes the puzzles. Well, how would it conflict with that? All right, I'm sorry. Scared me. Hey, the map maker's in here? Fuck you. Is this some cloth? Huh. Two good maps in a row, though. Damn. Uh-oh. Oh, boys! It's the boys! Me and the boys! It was me and the boys. Both of those are in the video. Give me my hand, thank you. All right, next, hazard course invasion. Man, these are a lot better than last time. These are a lot better than last time, hell yeah. So I guess this is a remake of the hazard course from Half-Life 1. I don't have a weapon or a hacking thing. Okay. No soundscape, that's points deducted. Just painting a model in engine, that's definitely points deducted. Um... Need an orange key card. Oh, Dead Russell, I think. Yeah, Dead Russell. Okay. <laughs> Floating shit. That's points deducted. The letter H from Half Life 2. A bunch of Half Life 2 props. Okay. gonna avoid them because I don't want to waste ammo I mean yeah it's the hazard course but like why it's like kind of the hazard course like why put them there they can't get over this thing and I, you're not even making me crouch yeah, no. Nah. 
This one, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not even gonna try. This one, Covertria, City 17. No. Combine intervention. Who the big guy in that poster, though? All right, combine intervention. I may have played this one before. I'm not sure. We will see. Oh. Okay. Whoop. Actually using some music. Oh, we got a lot of different key cards. What is this, a black key card? Purple? What? Are you worried about the status of Underlords or is the community just impatient for season two? I'm a little worried, but they are being a little impatient, yeah. Oh, it just... <laughs> hey, I don't have a weapon yet. Shit, okay. This is a weird ass map. Oh, I'm locked, wait, what? Where I came from? I don't have a weapon! Ouch! Um, okay. Um... Strat. Oh, it uses the same key card. Okay. Ouch. Where did I put it? It's right there. Okay. Maybe I missed it. Oh, they can, they can dig it. Okay, they can hit me. Yeah, um. Okay. Um. Yeah, maybe I, maybe I did miss it. Uh. I, I don't see it. Ow. Yeah. Alex? Alex, you still there? Uh, I'm gonna skip this one. Sorry. Alright, what's next? Prospect attrition! This one's called Prospect Attrition. Attrition for prospects. Exclamation point donate in the chat. Help, 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 help a guy out. Help a guy out, you know? Help a guy out. <laughs> Good atmosphere so far. I like it. Where's this go? Oh, I can actually climb that, okay. What? It's dark. Oh, hello. Can I shoot through the, no. Hey guys. It's me. Where am I? Can I? I can. Yes. <laughs> Pretty neato so far. Oh. Oh. 
I didn't even notice I had the auto loader. Point. Point. Oh. Okay. Wow. You really. That was masterfully done. That was. That was really cool. How you just, like, did that. on an identifiable thing and instead you led into it quickly you did lead into it very quickly but this is a, a custom community map there should have been the the nova prospect music as soon as you turn the corner and you see this though in my opinion and i will say um this map really shows off the knee oh my god That's a, that's a person. He's watching TV. What the hell? Shoot him, yeah. Oh! No way. Dude, this is in. This map is in. Are you kidding? This one just came out today. What's with everybody wanting these, these five pieces? This is an excellent remake of Nova Prospect. Oh no. The puzzle thing broke it again. I'm sorry. I'm gonna, uh, I, I can't put it in the video. I can't put the puzzle hacking conversion into the video. Oh wow, he just passed down up onto the ladder. Wow. They are pathfinding up the stairs. That's insane. That's insane! I haven't seen that happen in Half-Life Alex before. They fucking path found up the stairs! Yeah, I gotta uninstall the puzzle hack. But I'm not starting the map over, so... Whoop. See, this is why I like the puzzle hack, because it makes the combine lockers not fucking awful. Some shit going on here today. Do I need to find one? I need to find one. Oh, there it is. No, I can't talk about the hack conversion mod in the video. I gotta cut that out of the video until they can get it fixed. So I might talk about them next month, but for now, no. 
All right, what is that? Oh, does it shut down this? Yeah, it does. It shuts down this thing. Right, is there anything? Nope. Wait, I'm locked in now? All right. Oh, I'm not locked in now. I never unlocked the fucking door. Like a dumbass. Your boy's a dumbass. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> Did this guy remove their explosive backpacks? I feel, are they gone? Whoa. Yeah, he removed the explosive backpack. How? I didn't even know that's possible. Hand, please. Thank you. It's a good ass map. Favorite one of the evening so far. Last one. Whoa! Whoa, I can flank them! Okay, 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 okay. I don't have a grenade. This map's in. Fuck yeah. This map's awesome. <sighs> okay, now I'm gonna try a different approach. Push ones left. Last shell. I'm gonna snipe them from this doorway. <laughs> subbed skies bro new twitch prime remember twitch prime is free if you have amazon prime appreciate it i'm dead i'm dead i'm dead i'm dead i'm fred sneak past them oh oh whoops one left okay who all is left alive Am I really out? Oh, fuck. Okay. I 
health but some health it's gonna vomit yeah get that that on my face oh shit oh wow oh wow I'm gonna I'm gonna spam him for a grenade I saw he's carrying a pistol uh, shell. I'm not. We can help you, it's safe. To your left. What's to my left? <gasps> oh shit, almost fell. This fucking map, dude. <sighs> Major fracture detected. Oh, please. This is a hard one, man. Yeah, I don't I don't really want that. Oh my god, no. Health. Yes. Are they coming after me? Are they coming after me? Search these lockers. I'm really not seeing much in these lockers. What about in here? No. What? What? No!
I'm not gonna be able to finish this on stream today. All right, that's it. That's it for now. Oh, and we got the blinky lights. Okay. Oh. My God. Oh, man. Can you hear me? Oh, good God. That was great. That was so good. So, out of those... Oh, I already have it opened over here. Here. Hey. Okay. So, um, hacking conversions out. What maps did we play today? Um... Damn, that last one was nice. fucking great. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for the sub. All right. Today we played number one. Fuck, I hate when this happens. All right, we played Prospect Attrition. That's, I don't even know how long, so I'm going to say 30 minutes. And that's by, who made this one? A bunch of Japanese characters that I don't know how to pronounce. It was made by this person. So... Tyler, you're the reason I keep making map labs. That's awesome to hear. Thank you. It means a lot. Um, we also played Savage Sewers. Nice. That Nova Prospect map was it amazing. It was fucking awesome, yeah. Savage Sewers. This is by Epic Bob Man. Epic Bob Man 878. And I'd say this one was about 15 minutes. And then we also played Backyard Resting. This is by the same person? This is by that same dude? I've played field studies. It's not in the video. It has too many bugs for me to include it just yet. Jesus, whoever this guy is, you are a king at making these maps. Madney was a friend. Make those characters a little bigger so I can read them. Yeah, let's make everything Times New Roman 12 point font. Tell me what this says. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wait, is that the nice. person here? The Jono Porter? Just say Jono Porter. All right, that's, that's better. But what does it say in Japanese? Hell yeah, dude, you're fucking... All right, then I'm gonna put that as one. And then combined total be like, let's say 45 minutes of content there. Because I'm not, I'm, just, I'm gonna name both of them. Jono Puta, okay. I don't read Japanese. I don't really speak it either, I'd love to, but for really dumbass reasons. I want to learn how to speak Japanese just so I can watch this show without having to wait for subtitles. Just this one show. Just this one show. Just this one. That's it. 
I don't really watch any Japanese television other than that one television show. Jono Pota, he means Epic Gamer. Is Field Study in this? No! No, it is not. Um, it is not. It'll be in next month if they fix the bugs. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is give the maps that I liked today um, awards. I fixed quite a few of them. I did a patch last night. Alright. I didn't realize the uh, creator was here. Um... <clears throat> sure, I'll add it then. Is this gonna be a monthly thing? Hell yeah. <sighs> I'm not gonna write my reviews in front of you though, so... Yeah. It's your prerogative, man. I want to support the creators, my dude. I don't want to, like, make you feel like you shouldn't be doing what you're doing. I want to be able to give, like, attention to the people that deserve it. You know what I mean? All right, hold on. <clears throat> um... I want this to be a monthly thing so like the next time I would do this would be near the end of August and I'd cover everything that happened between those two video this video and that video and then it would just be like the end of every month I'd talk about all the big stuff that I really liked all right um yeah I think that's a that's a complete video right there I just need to put talk about my thoughts on each of these maps in front of some footage of each of the maps and then that's the video Friday's video, it seems to be going back and forth between either the Team Fortress 2 video or the much anticipated um, fucking this one. So. Yeah, so... Yeah, I mean, we've played these. I need to play this one and then get footage of that and then I'm done. I'll get footage of that after the stream because I'm getting tired and hungry. Um, so much adult shovelware on Steam. I know, right? People will accuse you of clickbait for the title. What do you mean? Is the best Half-Life Alex mod so far, or the have Opposing Force 2 Ravenholm thing? Because that's not clickbait. That video is going to be pretty much directed around, um, well, let me show you. Mm, mechanical drives, I do not miss them. So it's coming from the thing that, um, you know. Where is it? Here it is. Uh, NE7S2, so it's a Sony Alpha. It's one of, you, one of the most stressful moments of my working life. Um, hmm.
one was built and then the other one was built years later so when you're underground you can kind of like see the brickwork and stuff um so he talks to you he basically that's the, the place where he says look we're trying to turn these generators your plasma thing over on this wall and then just it's an hour-long interview with uh daniel dwyer the guy who played it and it's literally just him talking me through the entire experience of the game whole thing end to end so fuck you it's not clickbait with a lot of information he did not put in that part of that documentary he's a cool ass dude so the way that's gonna work uh the video will come out of me chopping that up and kind of like making a vnn and then the whole interview will go on valve news extra so Can someone donate to Tyler so he talks about future Valve titles? That'd be great, but we're $279 off. <laughs> so, um, I picked the wrong playlist. Let's do a bit of a Q&A for the next 20 minutes, and then we're gonna be going. I don't know what I'm gonna eat today, but I'm gonna eat something. <sighs> All right. I don't think it's clickbait, but the comments will be filled with that. You'll see. I don't fucking care anymore. So what's up? How's everybody doing? What do you guys want to talk about? Do you still read the comments on your videos? Not so much anymore, no. I, I kind of had to stop. Anything to keep me from spiraling into depression and stop being productive, which I think we all would want. So, do you still read the con- Yeah, I just read that. I don't know what I'm doing. Do you still think Half-Life Alex is a dumb name? Yes, it's just I'm numb to it now. Yes, Half-Life Alex is a very dumb name. What's your ideal v uh, VR world setting? I don't know. I have no idea. I'd have to, I'd, I'd tell you when I see it. But please keep the donation goal until it ends so we'll have a chance in other streams. I'll, I'll keep it for the week, yeah. Uh, do you think you can make a list of the things you don't like in Half-Life Alex maps? Yeah. I'm kind of already doing that in a video called Nitpicking the Hell Out of Half-Life Alex. Uh, Half-Life, I think Half-Life Vault is also dumb. Half-Life Vault is also dumb. Is your nitpick video instead of the full review? No. You said the actor that played Russell wouldn't be working in Valve in the future. Why? I did not say that. I said there was a possibility Merle, the old actor for Alex, might not be working with Valve in the future. And that's because they fired her. Any idea what thing Mike Shapiro said was the blast from the past? No idea, but that was said before the quarantine, so it's probably not happening this year. HLVR was fine. Yeah, Half-Life VR was fine. Do you think a recreation of Half-Life 2 survival would work in VR? No, I do not. I stand by the opinion that Half-Life Alex is a lazy, dumb name, but HLA really is easy to pronounce next to something like HL2EP2. Yeah, but HL2 is easy too. HLQ is easy, HLV is easy. Like, it's easy, but you can come up with a better name. From the Ashes was better. I agree, and that was a fucking 4chan meme. Half-Life Vortessence is pretty good. And that would have worked in the old story, not so much this one. Are you aware of Face Poser Source 2 actually existing? They might have done the face animations manually. Um, there, are, there is Source 2 software to animate facial animations. I don't know if it's called Face Poser, but that's, it's like the spirit of that. Um, face Poser 2 exists, had access to it while freelancing. There you go. Uh, Half-Life Residence Cascade. Half-Life Residence is something that was being worked on years ago. 
I don't know what came about that. Was Posthuman the actual name of the Half-Life 3 project? No, it was just the name of that piece of key art. Uh, what was the old story of Half-Life Alex like? Well, as the final hours said, it was very depressing. Um, however, it's really only front-loaded and back-loaded. Everything in the middle was pretty much the same through most of development. And the levels were almost identically the same. They just themed them differently sometimes. Like, and by that I mean, like as the final hour said, the zoo was one of the last things they did. It used to just be rooms, you know? Uh, same goes for Jeff's, uh, the uh, basement, that laundromat, the Northern Star. It was just called Tenements. It wasn't a hotel, it was an apartment building. And Jeff, Jeff uh, was going to be encountered twice, as far as I know. Once in the Northern Star, once in the distillery. The distillery was went through a lot of different variations, but the basic level design was the same. The only major parts that changed was, and this is my favorite bit of all of what I've learned, um, is the hidden teleport that, um, that like chopped an hour and a half of content out of the game. Um, when you leave Alex's apartment and you go into the elevator and then you end up in the laundry room, that's a teleport. That's two different parts of the map. The lights blink and they teleport you in that blink. It's genius. It's so masterfully done. There used to be a significantly larger and longer sequence of events. That laundromat still existed, but you would like go through it was like a door you just opened they just th threw the elevator there and just convinced you that the laundromat was in alex's apartment complex which is fine um the level design was finished before everything else yeah yes for the most part and that was done according to the final hours because they wanted to have the golden path finished because the major thing that they kept doing was like prototyping pre-production and Robin Walker was like, fuck that, let's have something playable as soon as possible, which I think is genius. Um, but um, VR dev is not progressing quickly because of no offices. Yeah, I mean, you can still do it. Indie games are made all the time from home, but it's Valve who literally like every design decision that they make is based on external play testing and the new offices that they bought had a, like a lot of extra room for vr play tests so yeah stuff stuff is grind to a halt that's why you're seeing a lot of dota 2 stuff artifact 2.0 stuff because it's it's the easy stuff to work on that's why you're seeing tf2 get you know bug fixes and stuff it's because people are just kind of keeping busy until they can get back to true work when valve gets back to the offices you're pretty much going to know immediately because data mines are going to show it and i'm sure some people are going to be like hey we're back you know and i'll let you know i sense the teleport the first time I, I i don't know i mean it's on stream i don't think i did i think i was just way too enamored by the idea that i was playing a new half-life game but what they cut out of that is just so fucking interesting. Um, and I have like no record of it whatsoever. Even in stuff I'm legally not allowed to show, no record, none. I have no idea what that shit looked like. I know the sequence of events because of the uh, read-only asset bin file leak, but I have no fucking clue what the cut pieces looked like from that introduction. And I'm very disappointed that the final hours didn't go into it. Because that's, like, ripe territory. But like they said, um, like, um, I think Eric Wolpas said in a, in a press junket interview leading up to the release of Half-Life Alex, the original introduction from waking up, um, or wherever, just, like, starting the game and getting the pistol and getting onto the train to the quarantine zone, that was an hour and a half versus now where it's, like, 15 minutes. Um, and they, the, the story set pieces shifted around so significantly, like meeting Russell in that lab, that was mo like you met him in a firehouse, he had workers, there was the Han, there was Han, like not the Han, the, the workers, are, there's a lot there, but I'm super, um, maybe in a dev commentary, that's true, that could be something they're working on, that'd be awesome, um, but that's one of my favorite most that's one of my favorite upcoming video topics is the cut uh introduction 
uh, the cut story. I want to do a video on the cut story, but I, re I need to split that up into three pieces. The cut intro, the cut middle bits, and then the cut ending, uh, endings. And the cut introduction went through two phases. In the earliest, earliest, earliest iteration of Half-Life Alex, David Spare stated we had a version with Barney and Kleiner and stuff. Before they brought in uh, Rob Yescom to like put a story in it, and then Eric Wolpock came to like change everything and rip rip everything out and start from scratch. Um, it was a it was a nostalgia fest. It was bar like, but the 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 fucking it was all the same. All the levels were the same. So that train car that you were in at the beginning, Barney was in there at one point before they had any story. It was just Barney handed you a crowbar and you're off. It's just that it's um it's really 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 cool that shit, um, and. I'm very excited to um, do that video eventually. I'm very excited to get back to the cut content of Half-Life Alex, but me and Piston Miner are still in the pre-production phase of our... Because what we want to do is have, like, we know the order in which we're going to release these things, have them feed into each other, and try and have a playable piece of recreated content alongside every video, which may be a tall uh, and somewhat impossible order. Um, but why is there no Barney and Kleiner in Half-Life Alex? Uh, because they didn't want to rely too heavily on nostalgia and they wanted to build their own stuff. Um, and I think they knew even when they had Barney in the game that he wasn't going to be in the final game. And it was just, this is, you know, we're just using Half-Life 2 assets right now and we don't really have anything else. Um, I know I asked this a lot, but when's the crowbar video? So... I was confident that we'd be able to get the crowbar video out months ago, and I even showed an early iteration of the crowbar patch. Problem was, it just doesn't work the way I want it to at all. Um, and we've come to learn that Valve never solved the problems of the crowbar, and what I'm playing with is really what they had. Um, the only problem that we're running into now is the model fitting on the, the hitbox. It's spawning two crowbars and an invisible one and then the actual model, but the model in game is incorrect and has been moved around. Um, and, you know, it's the crowbar video is delayed indefinitely for now because the crowbar is not a main concern of mine. There's a lot of other really cool things that we've discovered and, ha and gotten working. Um, that we're going to be focusing on. The crowbar will be a video one day. Yeah. And it sucks that the only cut content video I've put out so far is the trip mines because that's like scratching the surface of this. It's like the most inane content compared to what's in there and what's out there. Hmm. Someone's saying that after your last video about TF2, my life lost any sense. TF2 is a part of me. I grew up with it since I was seven. Uh, the game helped with my depression after my grandmother's death. It was my best friend. I know about creators.tf and other community projects, but the servers are almost always empty, maybe, other than maybe creators.tf. Valve leaving TF2 in my life is now meaningless because of that. Nice. Are you mad that the report the Vought poster is gone from the store? No, because I got it. It was a limited lit litho print. Um, I don't know how to what to tell you. TF2 isn't go. The fact that Valve isn't working on Team Fortress 2 doesn't mean the experience isn't there still. It doesn't mean that you can't still play. It's not like Team Fortress 2 is shutting down. It's still there, and the experiences that you had growing up didn't go away because Valve decided to move on. They they still helped you. Team Fortress 2 is still important to you. If your life's meaning is based on Valve pushing out major content updates, well, I mean, they haven't in a thousand days, and have you had meaning in the last thousand days? You know? I'm sorry to hear that, but the game isn't going anywhere. And that may be a bit of a closed-minded look at life, if everything is based around Team Fortress 2. You know? Like even me, there are other Valve properties that are worth your time. There's many other video games out there. Many other things to do in your life. And I understand that the idea of Team Fortress 2 maybe not being around anymore in the same sense that it was back in, say, 2011, that sucks. 
but instead of looking at it like the most depressing thing ever i think it's good to look at it as an appre like i'm very appreciative of all the great times that i had looking for updates and things you know nothing lasts forever and Team Fortress 2 is 13 years old. So, I'm sorry to hear that, but I think you'll be okay. Do you like the direction the G-Man was taken in? I feel like they solidified his characters only on the most surface level. I feel like the things he's been saying, having employers, was a metaphor to let him explain himself than him, literally. Uh, I think it was pretty good. I don't know. I was watching the VOD of the stream, but I just wanted to say that info player start merch is definitely fine. Is zero billion a mindset at Valve? Um, yes, but not always in a short, short term investment. Half Life Alex isn't going to result in a billion dollar return immediately, but the long term gain of selling indexes and software on an evergreen medium and title will result in a billion. So yes, do they look at billions? Probably, probably, yeah. I just finished the last issue of the TF2 comics and I feel a void much deeper than episode two. Well, no, not like episode two, but yeah, I get it. Um, TF2 was 13 years ago and Valve put out an update for it for every year, for 11 years, at least, correct. I feel like there needs to be some sort of multi-year situation if I'm ever going to find friends to play this game. Yeah. Multiplayer. It's not Valve's concern. Not in the way that you're thinking. Thank you, Tyler, for introducing me to Holmes Music. You're welcome. William Pugh interview still coming? Yeah. Delayed indefinitely, though, for numerous reasons. Um, multiplayer mods, it's its complicated. I don't think that's something that'll happen anytime soon. The turret plush back there is an old Valve Store product that I was able to score on eBay for 50 bucks. Out of print, haven't sold them in years. All right, uh, we, let's say we got another five minutes of questions. Are you growing out your beard? No, I gotta shave. Would there be a Gary's Mod 2? Well, they're working on it. It's called Sandbox, but I do not think it's ever going to come out. And even if it did, the cultural impact that Gary's Mod has had will never be replicated. Like, Gary's Mod is a product of its time. It will never hit... No matter what they do with a Gary's Mod 2 or Sandbox, it would never be as successful as a Gary's Mod situation. And trying to lightning in a bottle, that shit is just... It's, it's irresponsible, or not irresponsible, but it's, it's delusional. Mark Laidlove Book Club, very busy, still in the cards. Found your channel through Internet Historian, fuck yeah. He's a cool dude. Any Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe news? Nope. How much of the old HLA story are you aware of? Pretty much all of it, because there wasn't a significant amount of it. Just the beginning and the end. Just talk a bit about future Valve titles. I want to know so bad. Um, no. Sorry. Was F-Stop trying to make something like Superliminal? Super li Superliminal was essentially everything F-Stop was trying to be from one mechanical standpoint. There were multiple mechanics in F-Stop, and Superliminal attempted to recreate one of them. Do you prefer Laidlaw's style of writing or Wolpaw's? I think both of them have their place. And I think if they work together, it'd be perfect. Because Wolpaw's way more interested in the point-to-point -point humor, and Laidlaw builds worlds. No reason for a, a Gmod 2 when VR chat exists. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, VR chat is filling that space. Is there anything non-Valve related you'd like to tell us about that you can share right now? Not off the top of my head. How's it going? Not much. We're about to end here in about four minutes. Superliminal is impossible to render in VR, did you know? I didn't know. I mean, it's impossible from a, like a 
fundamental level because you have depth perception and the, the tricks don't work. Will you replay Map Lab soon? Yeah, I need to, uh, I need to marathon through Map Labs pretty soon. I also need to finish the Vault Map competition. A lot of cool community stuff going on. Always great to see that. Uh, can you please vive us information after you play HLF Alex next title of next game? No. Uh, last I checked, Face Punch is working on Sandbox. They said it was the next step for Gmod. Okay. VR mod in Gary's mod would make the game seem like Boneworks. What? Oh, because of all the physical based stuff? You still need to play System Shock 2. Yeah. How is multiplayer in Source 2 complicated? Because I don't think they ever made it. I don't think it's done. Do you prefer Vault Maps or Map Labs? Map Labs, but that's because Vault Maps has only done one thing. So. What's your personal experience with the organizers? They're, they're both very nice groups of people. Do you think there's any valid validity to the rumor of a surprise announcement coming from Valve and one of their beloved IPs between August and October? No. Especially not from work from home orders. Absolutely not. Do you think Gold Source source code will ever be released? Um, last I heard about it was like two years ago and they stated that they have no interest in releasing it, so. Are there any leaks about the Electra project that you can tell us? She would fucking rip my dick off if I leaked anything about her project. <sighs> Why aren't my parents proud of me? Dude, I don't know. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you think this decade is going to be brighter for Valve than the 2010s? I, I wouldn't know. I, th I mean, it's shaping up to be. But last decade opened with Portal 2. <laughs> so... <laughs> I don't think Half-Life Alex is a is is a is a good barometer. What soups are Valve employees eating during lockdown? You're gonna have to ask them. I don't know. Will I find happiness? Go. Oh, I hope so. What? Shout out to for fans by fans for not emailing knew me that the report the vote poster was in stock despite me reserving it minutes me after. Me too. It was I, I just had a bunch of people contact me about it. They didn't. They didn't contact people that had it reserved. I don't think at all. Letting off steam, please. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do that before the end of the month. Do you like Uno? I love Uno. Do you think Gabe dislikes you? Probably. I'm working to change that. Um, dude, TF2 ain't that serious. No, it's not. Vine Sauce hit 200k. That's great. Did you get into the artifact beta? Yes, I did. And I have plans for it. You'll you'll see it soon. Uh, make Q&A that increases time every time someone donates a dollar by one minute. Now that's a good ass idea. Coolman, remind me to set something up for that. That's a cool ass idea. That's a good idea. How are you liking Artifact 2.0? I haven't touched it yet for a reason you will learn soon. Uh, where does Half-Life Alex rank in your Valve games list? Top five. It goes Portal, TF2, Episode 2, Half-Life Alex. And then, um, I don't know. They probably gave you Artifact 2.0 later because they had the clean builds. No, it was completely random and I had... It was completely random and I had access to a day one build, which I data mined. It was pretty empty. I'm not gonna start that idea right now. It'd have to be like, I'd have to like, know I'm gonna do it. Do you like the Professor Layton series? Uh, I played the first one, Curious Village, years, when I was a kid, years and years ago. Did you ever play the Half-Life 2 version on the original Xbox? I've played bits and pieces of it, yeah. All right, I'm gonna peace out. 
thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, thanks for thanks for watching with me. Thanks for chilling. Thanks for the twenty-four dollars in donations. Let's check to see if we have a trade offer. Nope. All right. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go eat something. I'm gonna go hang out with Lek, and I'm gonna finish up Wednesday's video. Uh, Friday's video uh, will be out to patrons as soon as I possibly can get it out. So love you guys. Peace and hair grease. Talk to you later. Thanks a bunch. Adios. Nice. Thanks, Reno. Nice. 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 Nice.